Today's a little different. Uh, we're gonna do more or less like a how-to video. A lot of Audi and Volkswagens have this same kind of suspension setup. So this video is gonna help anybody with like, uh, what, 1999, 1998 up to 2014 has the same kind of uh, upper control arm setup with the two arms that go into the top of the spindle there. We have to replace the upper rearward arm. So that's this one. And first, first things first, get the wheels off, or get the wheel off that you're doing the control arm on, and then take this pinch bolt out for the upper control arms. Well, first things first, you probably wanna spray it with some lubricant, especially on the older ones. This is a 2012. So this shouldn't be that bad. I got the nut loose on the side, which is a 16. And then the other one's a 16 also. And if you can get this one loose, that's good. And then if you can get the bolt that goes all the way through to spin, then you're on a really, then you're on a good track. See, this one spins inside there. Usually they'll get stuck in there and it is, it's not fun to get them out. And uh, just for the record, these, this is not threaded inside. So in theory, this shouldn't be able to screw out, but I think there's so much like corrosion and nastiness built up in, in here that it's just grabbing the bolt <laughs> and letting it twist out. But you, usually, you should have to take this nut off and then use a punch and hammer it out or what I do sometimes is thread it on like two or three threads, hit it with a hammer until it gets flush and then use a punch and turn the wheel so the whole thing's turned this way so it's pointed out and then use a punch to drive that the rest of the way through. I need to turn the wheel. I just got the big pinch bolt out after I turn the knuckle. Oh, we need to get this uh, where it mounts to the top of the shock tower back here. Are also, yeah, 16 or in this case, a 5 8. But a 16 is the same thing. So you got 5 8 in this, and you have 16 in the old ratcheting wrench. I believe on some years, this bolt was the other way, so this bolt is going to come out that way and it'll, it should clear this spring, but I think on some years they came out this way and they would hit the body and so you would have to take the whole shock like tower mount out of place and like shift it and then you can get that bolt the rest of the way out. If, it is, if, it, if you do have one that's going in from this way. Just take the bolts out that mount the top of that shock tower. I think you, you just have to pull it out of the way. You don't have to take it all the way out. And then you can just finesse that bolt out. Shoo, 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 shoo. Hit this gently. You know, just to break the corrosion and the rust in there from the aluminum to like the metal ball joint shaft that's in here. And then you're going to want to pop it. And you know, just you hit it once or twice, it just pops right out. Ouch. See, look at all that crap in there that was sticking in there. It's like flush with it. See, look at all that. That's what seizes it in place. So for you guys, it was two seconds. For us, it's the next day because they gave us the wrong part. So this one. Is the same. The other one was opposite curve of that. Well, installation is pretty well straightforward. You put it in in reverse order. Before you put your big pinch bolt back in here, 
uh, just lather it with a bunch of like anti-seize or whatever. So if you ever do need to do it the other arm or for some reason warranty this one out or take it out again, you know it's gonna come out next time. So yeah, there's your uh, upper control arm replacement on a 98 to 2014 Audi. If there's anything else that you guys wanna see on an Audi or a Volkswagen, or any car for that fact, um, comment down below and make sure to leave a like on this video.